And good morning. You're watching Breakfast Television on City TV. A Wrangler National Finals Rodeo Arena record sitting right there this morning. This is Haley Kinsel competing at the Stampede, of course. Is this your first Calgary Stampede? It is. My it first is. time to Canada. Well, well to Canada. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome. Thank you. I've enjoyed it. And you're coming in on a super high. You had the record in Vegas. Also another arena record on Sister, your horse in uh, San Antonio, yes, right? Sir. Yes, sir. So, how's it feel? It's awesome. It's always good to be, you know, on a high and winning and all, but uh, it's fun either way. It's fun. You just love it. Yeah, just love the rodeo lifestyle, the whole thing. <laughs> yes, sir. Good for you. Okay, so I have to ask you, what's the first surprise coming to Canada? Is it our accent? What is it? What do you think? Uh, accent's fine. I did get a little confused with the speed limit when I got on the highway and thought it was 110. I'm like, <laughs> woohoo! But it's not the same 110 as us. <laughs> yeah, you're getting big trouble here going that fast in miles, right? I learned that quite fast. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No kidding. Okay, so you're at the Stampede for the first time. Haley, by the way, is uh, leading in the aggregate money so far, and you set a record in Vegas. We touched on that and this is your run here and we're just showing it again because obviously it's been watched so many times on YouTube and it, did you at all when you were going around on sister going around the barrels did you know you were having a good run it does feel pretty fast yeah. when a good one's happening you never know it's gonna be that fast you yeah. can't really imagine that but well, the uh, next shot shows a big fist it. pump when you must have heard the is that when what you I heard, heard at the time mm -hmm. I looked back at the clock actually and if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes I probably wouldn't believe it so really? I was glad I did mm -hmm. think somebody's pulling your leg or something probably right? <laughs> <laughs> now 13 one one um, I, what was the fast time before that a 13 36 Wow yes sir two tenths of a second off there, more than two tenths. That's that's phenomenal. And then in San Antonio, how what was the big the time difference between um, the Vegas rodeo here, the WNFR, and the San Antonio rodeo? Was there a big couple of months? It or? was about two and a half months difference. Yep, okay. and uh, I had run, I'd made about three or four runs there already. So it was in my semifinal round, my last semifinal round when we I ran see. the record. Mm -hmm. I see. And in Calgary, you're doing well after two runs. You have two more to go, and then of course we have the weekend events that are coming up after that. You're a Pool B competitor. And do you like the course here in Calgary? Are you enjoying it? I do. We love the arena. It was fun to get in there the first day because I've watched it so many times and never got to see it in person. So it was awesome to get in there in that arena. And yeah, it's been fun. My horse seems to like it really good. So Nice. And, and Sister, tell us about Sister. How old is she? She's a seven-year-old mare. My okay. mom and I trained her, so we've had her a long time. We know her like the back of her hand, and uh, that, that helps a lot. I know everything about her and uh, can always uh, adapt as we need to. And uh, she's a pretty greedy little horse. She likes every setup. <laughs> Oh, that's good. And uh, you were you were telling me during the commercial break that you're a little bit tired this morning because <laughs> it was your turn to be up with the horses last night during the fireworks. Is that because the horses get a little bit spooked by the sound? They or? do. They get a little antsy in those yeah. barns just uh, hearing the noise and all. Um, so it's fun to watch for me, but uh, I take the night off from watching fireworks to stay with them, make sure they're fine. How, how do you calm them down when they're hearing kind of the the pops in the distance there's not a lot you can do but yeah. if they know you they're usually pretty comfortable when you're close by and mainly just watching to make sure nothing happens sure okay so you're going into your third ride today um, are you gonna do anything different you're just gonna give her again <laughs> yeah I'm shoot I'm just gonna kind of keep the same game plan it's doing well so far um, I'll work her a little bit fix a couple things that I want to fine-tuned but when, otherwise she's doing when good. you say worker I, I, I'm not I'm not a, I'm not <laughs> that guy I don't know what you mean by that but when you say worker what do you mean what do you do with sister well, Calgary lets us get in the arena almost every morning which is super nice of them oh. because we get to not go through the exact pattern but similar and let the horses just relax in that arena and get comfortable and if we want to just tweak a few things in our pattern we can and so most of us girls come down there almost every morning and work and that's a huge blessing to get to get back in the arena I bet right and then it must be good for sister because then you know sisters used to the surroundings and the noises and the you know the, the hoots or whatever it must, exactly. it must relax her right it does when you get in there with no people and no sound music and they can just focus and be calm it yeah. makes a big difference for them long term all right and what else are you going to do other than compete is there anything you want to do at the stampede or? i want to do the zip line i'm <laughs> really excited about that i toured the carnival yesterday won some stuffed animals at the games so next is zip line and uh, if we get Saturday off, we'd love to take Wild Card Saturday off. Maybe go over to Banff. I would love to see oh, that. Oh, you got to get out to Banff. It's beautiful. It awesome. And it does not surprise me that a, spree, a speed a speed racer like yourselves wants to go zipping across <laughs> 14 floors up and that type of thing. Well, nice to meet you. Best of Thank luck. You. Hopefully, you have a great stampede. Hopefully, Breakfast Television is a good luck charm. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe I hope coming so on the well. show, you know, you can set another record, maybe. I maybe. Hope you're about Just throwing it out there. Nice to meet you. Great, great competitor. Uh, you got to watch for her this afternoon. Rodeo, of course, is at 1 30. Hey, Haley Kinsel's her name. She's number one right now in the aggregate money of the Calgary Stampede after two goes. 727, we have news, weather, and traffic around the corner.